These are the basic three exercises you can do along with HFT fascia rolling. Fascia tensegrity strength and the ability to glide smoothly degenerate with age, injury, and trauma. So, it's important to keep the holistic sensor organ fit and healthy. 1. HFT elevated towel curls. Do not listen to copycats on this because they are doing them wrong. Here is how you do them properly. How to do hyperarch elevated towel curls. You have to elevate the heel. Because the elite athlete's heel is suspended from the floor. Alright? So you want to be pressing down on the ball of the foot and keep your heel elevated one centimeter or one inch off of the floor. Okay? And you're going to be moving your toes. You're going to be grabbing your toes. There are joints on the toes, and every joint has a purpose. They are to bend. You look at baby's toes, they are all able to bend. All right? A lot of people, over the course of years, lose their functionality. You need to build that. Okay? While you're doing this, now the people who have functional glutes, they're going to feel in the glutes. The people who don't will only feel in the foot. And guess what? Those people, they also have a lot of pain. A lot of knee pain, a lot of ankle pain. 2. HFT Swing It's okay if you hold on to something for balance in the first couple of weeks, but you should use your foot for balance. Knee pains don't go away? A lot of people tell me they have knee pains, but they cannot bend their knee. Okay? They cannot bend their knee in an extreme fashion like this. What do you do? Right? Or if you have surgery to your knee, what do you do? One of the best exercises you could do is the swing. Okay, I'm going to show you how it's done. Grab a marble. You want to grab a marble so you can create some artificial fascial tension in the foot. Okay, and you're going to balance on one foot. And you can hold on to something if you're, you know, wobbly. Okay, and if you're good with balance, then you just swing front and back with the marble in your foot. Okay, but if you're wobbly, you can always hold on to something. Hold on to a wall or anything that you want to hold on to. So this is how it looks like. You want to swing. You want to swing freely. Three, HFT gait cycle. Make sure you don't go too fast. Slow and smooth movement will encourage fascia to glide. Then it will provide maximum stimulation to fasciocytes, and fasciocytes will then affect hyaluronic acid, which will keep your tissue youthful. Those pharmaceuticals know this and try to sell you in a bottle. How does training fascia help? Fascia is not something you can see easily. It's something you feel. Especially when you have adhesions, where your fascia is torn or knotted. It makes you stiff, sore, and tight. There are different ways to help resolve adhesions, like specific stretches or using tennis balls. But when you've had pain for a long time, you need deeper stimulation. Movements designed to reconnect tore fibers and realign the fascia, which repairs the damage and makes you feel flexible and pain-free. The easiest way to do that is with hyperarch fascia training. So if you haven't tried my free exercise yet, start today. Four, after you have been doing these, make sure you fascia roll and check to see if your fascia adhesions are going down. If you are doing them correctly, the adhesions will disappear, and you will feel lighter and more energetic and youthful. 5. For more advanced folks, you may also include the hyperarch hop and bounce variation exercises, ensuring your ankle is locked. Have fun doing these simple drills, and talk to Coach Chong if you need result without any guesswork. Many PT exercises are based on building muscle strength, but how much is enough? The strength of your muscles are not the problem in chronic issues because smaller muscles don't cause pain. A smaller muscle may stop you from jumping higher or running faster, but it doesn't hurt. The real problem in the majority of chronic conditions lies in your fascia, the tissue surrounding your muscles that could be weak worn or misaligned. No amount of regular muscle training will fix this problem. You have to learn how to consciously reconnect to your fascia, relearn how to control your body to be more natural, more holistic, like back when you were a child. That's why kids can run around effortlessly. Once you learn how to consciously reconnect your fascia through hyperarch fascia training, 
It allows you to repair and remodel your fascia and finally alleviate your pain and discomfort. DM me fascia to learn more.